Just had to uh, video this beautiful site. This we've just had a downpour of rain, and now we've got this double rainbow landing right in our property. Just coming through that tree, you see, all the way up, oh, and then coming down through the top of our property. How special is that? That is just. Absolutely sensational. <laughs> oh, no better colours than those, hey? It's Croy Mountain in the back. Got some big storm clouds coming over. Oh, and some thunder. <laughs> yeah, just had to let you see that. It was so special, I think. I get really excited, things like that. Rainbows and red skies and... Now this is really a cheeky, quick flip cut paw. If you've seen my previous videos this week, I made up a whole load of custom paints and I've literally put all what was left into the cup. Trying to remember exactly what colours, but there were all those custom paints that I did do. So I just got one of my MDF rounds, which is uh, they sell in Kmart as placemats, Kmart here in Australia, $3, so they're great for, they're already got pre-painted on one side, so I use them for a flip cup. Now, this was, like I said, just a mismatch of what I had left paint from this week's um, custom colours that I made up, but I thought I'm going to video it because sometimes they turn out the absolute best. I know lots of people have sent me photos of look at what I did with my leftovers and you know normally I, I would discard them but I thought I'd do what you did and so I'm just gonna do this quick flip cup for you of these leftover paints um, from my but I know they were all the colors that I did in my video for custom when I custom made some colors so but this will be interesting to see what they're going to come out like all together so it's a flip cup. I can either, in fact, I don't like doing it like that because I'm used to I can t uh, a quick action of the wrist. But a lot of people prefer to do it the other way. So this is one giant flip cup. Now that was my deep purple crimson that I made. This was a dusty pink that I made. I made a metallic blue. Um, and I made a rose gold so those are the paints that I can see are coming through at this present time so as they uh, come through I'll be able to tell you because I literally just poured oh pour this pour this pour that into the cup and then left it so I'm just going to without further ado adieu I will pop the socket oh wow way Oh my goodness. Oh, you know, you just see something and you think, oh wow. Oh my goodness. That is just gorgeous. At this minute, it's looking gorgeous. I want to take a photograph of that because that's really pretty on its own before I get any cells. I just want to take a cheeky. Wow. So all, all that did go into this particular, uh, when I was making up my custom colours, was my normal pouring medium of the Almas glue, 70% Almas glue, 30% water. If you want a um, copy of this card that I use for my pouring medium, just let me know and I'll um, send you a screenshot of it, or you can screenshot. But look at this, oh my goodness. Oh, okay trying to explain the colors that I had in there. So I had, uh, then I had that avocado color that I custom made, I have an avocado color. Then I had palm green. So this was a metallic blue that I custom made. Um, the russet, see a bit of the russet coming through. That was, that turned out lovely actually. I'm just gonna pour what I've got left around the edge 
might ruin it, but being so this was um, one that I was just doing to see what I could do with my leftovers. See, if I don't like what comes out on when I pour on these MDF rounds, I just scrape it all off into my bin and I just wash the MDF round back and then it, I'll, I'll, it's clean and good to go a second time or third time or fourth time. <laughs> I do normally get I've got a lot of my smaller canvases from my supplier in Victoria if you live in Australia really reasonable priced uh, Montmartre canvases really nice so they'll be in my drop down box there they're just a family business doing their thing like us so always try to help small business wherever possible Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry about these strange noises, but I still, you know, you'd think after all this time I wouldn't get so excited seeing what comes up because, like, yeah, surprise every time. Like, um, Forrest Gump says, it's like a box of chocolates, you never know which one you're gonna get. But look at that, every time I do one that normally i'll just pour it and not think about video in it and it always turns out a stunner and that one is beautiful and i don't want to pour i don't want to tilt that too much because it didn't have overly excessive amount of paint on it i want to just leave that i will take some oh it's gone really dark some pictures of it photos of it now and then I'll take some when it's dry. But oh my goodness, that is absolutely gorgeous. Really is lovely. <laughs> so never throw away your dregs of paint. Just add some more if you have to add some white or, but they are just gorgeous cells in that. Oh my goodness. That's really, really nice. I'll give you a close up on that because that is an absolute little stunner. A little stunner. There we go. Husband's laughing at me, just come through. My little stunner, I've called them stunners, corkers, you beauties. <laughs> okay, thanks for joining me for that quick little flip cup, but never throw away your dregs of paint left over even if you've got to make up a little bit of white or black to add to it or you do a negative space yeah that's turned out just a little stunner thank you